Lesson three, healthcare organizations, otherwise known as HCOs. An HCO is a facility, hospital, or association that's focused on uh, practicing medicine or the administration of healthcare. Um, HCPs, healthcare providers that we talked about previously, gather to see patients or conduct research at these HCOs. So they're, they're related together. Um, HCOs can range in size from a few individuals to thousands of employees. The term HCO is kind of synonymous with an account. So a lot of times your pharma company will, will call uh, the hospital or, 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 a, or a facility an account because they are doing business with you by purchasing brands or having the HCPs that you have your uh, sales associates call on um, go to these accounts, these, uh, these locations and uh, make calls on the HCPs. Some examples of HCPs are like uh, Vanderbilt University Medical System, so like schools, VA centers, CDC, Emory Hospital, things like that. Um, just one thing I want to point out also is that an HCP can have a private practice, so an HCP can, by default, be their own HCO. So, for example, Dr. Jane Smith is an HCP, a healthcare provider, but if she has Dr. Jane Smith private practice, her private practice is the HCO. Again, HCOs are places, structures, and associations, and HCPs are individuals. As we just uh, discussed, um, if you own your own private practice, you qualify as both an HCO and an HCP within the pharmaceutical sales data model. Um, and then I just, just to detail the difference between the HCP and the HCO here with the graphic, how you're talking about individuals versus facilities, buildings, and, and entities. Plan, payer, and PBM. Oftentimes, these are put into the HCO bucket by some pharmaceutical companies. Some do not. Um, just to go over these quickly, a plan is a type of insurance program that differs on the, the levels of coverage, deductibles, referrals, etc., copays. That's what a plan would be. So you have managed care plans, consumer-driven plans, private plans, etc., these are all related together, plans, payers, and PBMs. The payer is the organization that processes the payment for the medical claims. And those types of payers are commercial, private, and government. Again, they are related. So you go with your plan to, you have a health, health plan to go to a doctor as a patient. And when you go there, you have certain levels of coverage deductibles associated with there. When you leave, the payer then pays for a percentage of that visit, that office visit that you have. PBM is a pharmacy benefits manager, and these are third-party companies and contractors that manage prescription drug programs for the insurance plans. So as many of you know, with your insurance plan, you often have a prescription plan as well, and you'll have a copay for the prescriptions that you have, but that's run by a PBM in the whole plan payer PBM model. Um, as I mentioned before, plans, payers, and PBMs are considered to be HCOs by some pharma companies. Sometimes they're separated out altogether. When we get into a chapter later on about pharmaceutical sales data, master data, master data management, we'll talk about how HCPs, HCOs, and plan, payers, PBMs can be unique entities all on their own. HCO classifications, just like we had HCP classifications, we also have HCO classifications. And again, classifications are ways to group different things together. So in this instance, we wanna group the healthcare organizations by their class, sometimes called class of trade by some uh, organizations, sometimes just called classification. But you'll see over here some examples. So you have, you'll have um, buying organizations, you'll have government facilities, you'll have pharmacies. This is how you would group your healthcare organizations into different classes. And that makes, when we get later on into actual Rx data, prescription data, you'll see how this is all plays out based upon how you group things together in your HCO account buckets. This is the end of lesson three. There will not be a quiz after this lesson. Instead, we're gonna combine questions from this lesson, healthcare organizations, with the next lesson, which is affiliations.